Hello everyone, today it's Friday in the evening and I feel so happy for that. You know, I've been the whole day working and I said, okay, as soon as I finish working, I'll employ all my time for myself. I'll be here doing my stuff at home and I can go out with my friends or whatever. But what has happened that as soon as I finish working, I've entered my statistics of my YouTube channel and I saw this commentary on it. This is Brzemek. Simnavoda, who is asking me to do a video reaction, which is the singer Justina Stechkovska singing the song Witcher Taraoro. And he's telling me afterwards, Polish candidate Eurovision 2024. Oh my god, my brain just exploded because I had no clue that there are right now some candidates for Poland. And I'm looking forward to that because you know my love for Poland is very very high. I have lived and I have studied in Poland for like six months or so doing Erasmus and it's like my second home so I wish the best for Poland and of course I see this and I see okay it must be very um, a song with a lot of potential so of course let's go for it. But first things first, I would like to do some research about her. Why are you asking a reaction of Justina and I don't know who's her? No 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 I have to know that she is a very famous actress and singer, I'm looking for it in Wikipedia, okay? She's 51 years old, in 1994 she won one of the most famous uh, musical contests in Poland, which is the Zansanat Success. Okay, I know this is sometimes the national final of Poland. She won with the song Buenos Aires, Boski Buenos, okay, interesting. And the same year she took part in the Opole, Opole, I have to tell you something about this, Opole Song Contest, and she got the Best New Artist Award. Okay, I have to tell you one personal story. I have told you that I have studied in Poland for six months as an Erasmus experience, and I have to tell you that I have studied and lived in Opole, so it's so amazing to see. I knew the Opole Song Contest, that it's the most famous in Poland, but it's so happy and so nice that she won that uh, artist, that novel artist there, and the following year in 1995 she was chosen as the representative of Poland in, Euro in Eurovision with the song Sama. Okay, so uh, it means that maybe she's coming again to represent Poland in Eurovision, but I don't know because I would like to find out if she is actually a true contender to represent Poland or you're just... Um, it's just a wish coming from you, because I don't know yet. Okay, I find no information at all about what's going on with this song, because I can't see if it's actually going to Eurovision or not, so please let me know over here. I've just seen that there's one video on YouTube that was released, and I, yeah, I see in the comments that people is asking for her to go to Eurovision in Polish, and uh, there's another video that she has uploaded like um, several hours ago, but the commentaries, the commentaries are not available, so I don't know. Just let me know over here what's going on with this, if she's an official candidate for Eurovision or not. Anyway, I'm going to react to it and let's see how it sounds, because it seems that it has a lot of potential. You're all asking for her to go to Eurovision and I'm super looking forward to listening to it. So let's go for it. Okay, I've got everything prepared. In the meanwhile, please subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content so that I can keep on doing more things like this, okay? Let's go for it. Let's see how Witcher sounds. This is going to start in 3, 2, 1... Go. Okay, it's like very... Oh, it's like ancient from another era, another civilization, maybe Greece or something like this. Oh, Mother Nature. Oh, it sounds at least interesting so far yeah she's like a witch with this kind of sound very weird oh 
I like this part way better than the previous one. I'm going to turn up the volume. Ooh, I like this part as well. It has a lot of energy, isn't it? How she would do it live on stage if she represents Poland? I don't know, but it's promising. I need something visual. I need some kind of video clip or something, but I don't care. I like the rhythm, I like... I don't like that kind of shouts that she creates in the background of the song. They're a little bit ugly. But this part, when the chorus breaks, is nice. Yeah, I, I like. But I think it needs some kind of rebound. Or maybe a video clip, I don't know, but... Okay, okay, this part is getting way higher. It's very original, this song, I mean... It has a lot of power and it's so different to any other thing I have ever heard. So this is a very, 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 very positive point for her. <laughs> that kind of voices are a little bit ugly. I don't know if I like them or not, not really. But the song in an overall, I think it's very promising. Okay, it has finished. Nice, well done, Justina, because I don't know if Poland is doing great or not. Oh my God, I have just listened to Justina and I would say that she actually sings and sounds like a witch as she is saying in the title of the song. So I feel that she is telling me the truth. Anyway, what do I think about the song? Uh, I like it. I would tell you that I honestly like it. However, do I think this is a true contender to win the whole Eurovision for Poland? I don't know. I don't think so yet because I still have some visual issues to solve. I don't know how she performs. I don't know how she would um, show this song live on stage. I still don't know many things. So I like the song, but I don't see this winning Eurovision so far. So uh, I don't know if Poland is going to celebrate a national final or not. I don't know if she would get uh, if she would take part in that national final or not. So there are many things that I don't know. So let me know over here what's going on actually. And um, in the case that she finally takes part in a national final for Poland, I would like to listen to the other candidates because maybe there are some other songs that I would prefer than this one. I think this one is good, but I am not 100% sure if this is the true contender for Poland to win. I think Poland deserves to win. There are a lot of Eurovision fans and supporters in Poland. You can see in Eurovision viewers and everything. And I think it's time for Poland to win. So I expect the best coming from Poland. I think we all should go to Warsaw, Krakow, Wrocław, Opole, any Polish city to celebrate Eurovision and I want it to happen right now in Eurovision 2024 so I expect even better from Poland and I wish they celebrate a national final and we have more contenders to win for Poland. Okay so as, a, as an overall, as a sum up, to sum up I mean, I like this but I'm not 100% sure. Okay I'm, I, mm, I expect that you like this video, that you don't get offended, offended with any of my words towards the song. And yeah, I wish the best for next year because it's 29th December today. So it's about to finish the year and I wish the best for next year, especially for Poland. So uh, thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you like it. Please subscribe. Please, it means a lot to me if you subscribe while watching this because I can watch it in the statistics and it means a lot to me. And also comment here down below as I tell you. See you in following videos. I love you so much. Bye.